you collected old letters and postcards from your ancestors? Have you transcribed them? I bet you never thought to transcribe those old family letters. Well, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should transcribe your family letters in just a moment. But before we do, let me introduce myself. If we've not met before, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further, faster, and factually with your family research. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you too to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time we upload a video. If you like what you see, please tell me about it in the comment sections below. I do try to answer all the comments and questions. Sharing is caring. Please share these videos across all your social media. It helps me to grow Genealogy TV and get the word out about good genealogical practices. Also, for more information about transcribing documents, here's a link right up here to help you uh, learn how to transcribe properly. I've done another video that has the proper elements of transcribing a document. And so when you get a chance, check that out. Now, five reasons why you should transcribe those old letters and postcards. Number one, discovering the details. You'll be amazed at the details you'll discover when you actually sit down and type out a handwritten letter. You'll come across things you missed the first time you read it. Not to mention, you'll get a date stamp. When you transcribe a document, you'll take note of the time and place these documents were written. Guess what? From there, you can add that to your chronological research notes for that person or persons, placing them in a certain place at a certain time. Number two, storytelling. It helps tell the story of our ancestors beyond just the data that we collect from vital records and census records and such. Number three, preservation. Many of our children these days are not taught handwriting in schools and thus they can't read the cursive handwriting. So by typing it out, not only are you creating a copy of the document before it deteriorates with age, but you're also letting our future generations know what these documents are saying. Number four, it's the next chapter in your family history book. Think about it. If you've never thought about compiling a family history book, these documents might help you put one together. With each document you transcribe, you can be adding it to the overall family history book for many lives and future generations. Number five, Reliving the memories. By transcribing those documents, you're reliving the moments of those who wrote the documents. Just imagine for a moment and visualize where they were when they sat down to write that document. What did they feel like? Was it cold? Was it winter? Was it summer? Where were they? What kind of writing instrument do you think they used? Reliving the moments of the past through postcards of our ancestors. Here's some bonus tips. Add notes about where and when you found the document. Where did it come from and who gave it to you? Photograph and scan the documents and embed those images into the transcription as the final page. Put a source citation on every uh, page that you transcribe so that if the pages become separated, there is a, uh, there is a source citation on each one of those uh, pages. Consider backing up your documents in the cloud or share them with other family members outside of your home so that there's another copy just in case. Heaven forbid there is a disaster in your home and those documents are destroyed. So guess what? I got homework for you. Go out and find those old postcards and letters and type them up. Don't forget to include your name as the author of the transcription and or some extra notes about the relationships of the people that are found in those documents. You make the job easier if you use voice recognition. If you don't like to type, consider using voice recognition and don't forget to clean up the grammar. Voice recognition is not perfect, especially it often gets names misspelled. Be sure to check out the show notes for links for more information and uh, I hope you like it. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share these videos. Until next time, keep on climbing your family tree.